Welcome back to Levant TV Headlines. Lebanese troops have moved into the northern city of Tripoli in the second stage of a plan aimed at quelling deadly Syria-linked violence. An Israeli minister has warned of punitive action if the Palestinians push through efforts to join UN agencies as hopes of a breakthrough in the US-led peace process faded rapidly. Egyptian police brigadier general has been killed in Cairo in what security sources say is a twin bomb attack outside Cairo University. Suspected Al-Qaeda militants launch a rocket and car bomb attack on an army headquarters in Yemen's main southern city of Aden, killing at least four people. The UN's envoy to Baghdad has warned that campaigning for Iraq's general elections will be highly divisive as parties appeal to their sectarian bases at a time of worsening violence. Human Rights Watch called on Kuwait to investigate allegations of police torture of three stateless men detained for taking part in protests. War-torn South Sudan's president is expected in Sudan on Saturday for a one-day summit, official media reported, after Khartoum warned of a threat to peace in the disputed Abyei border area. Russia has accused NATO of succumbing the Cold War instincts after the alliance suspended all cooperation with Moscow after the Crimea crisis. And finally, Sri Lanka has designated 15 foreign organizations run by ethnic Tamils as terrorist groups, accusing them of trying to revive a separatist war which ended in 2009. To read more, please visit our website, levant.tv. That was it for today. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.